guys. So today I thought that I would do a video about skincare but affordable skincare, skincare from the drugstore, from the high street. I think some bits maybe you can get on Feel Unique. I feel really weird wearing a hat today but I really like it. I got this hat from ASOS and it's called the Mat Matador hat. Yeah, it's a really nice day today so I just feel really zingy. Sometimes you just don't feel like spending £30 on a cleanser or a moisturiser and you just don't have the budget for that and I know a lot of my viewers as well are younger and when I was younger I'd never spent £30 or something on skincare so I just thought this video would be quite helpful to a few of you and sometimes when I'm browsing boots as well I just I don't feel like spending loads and I want something affordable but if you're normal to slightly oily I think a lot of these would work really well for you. There's some things in here that really work for my dehydrated skin and help to hydrate. I'll stop babbling so what should I start with? I'll start with a cleanser. Oh also I didn't know I've got some body shop products and I wasn't sure if they'd come under the you know drugstore category but then they, they are quite affordable and they're really good products and they're not they're not mega expensive so I thought that I'd include them so the, this is the the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter I am so into cleansing balms at the moment um, and this is like a cleansing balm basically and you could obviously use it to take your makeup off and then also to give your skin a proper cleanse just does get everything off really well but very gently so if you're if you do have sensitive skin I think this would work <laughs> this would work really well for you and it says it's for all skin types. I don't have that many cleansers. I think cleansers are something that are good to invest in but this is inexpensive and brilliant. Also, uh, oh my god I didn't bring it in but Ultra Blan from Lush, a cleansing balm but it's, it's a bit heavier than, than this so I prefer this actually but that's also quite inexpensive. So this actually I'm not sure where the main place is that you get this from. I think it's Feel Unique and it's the Mel Melvita um, Organic Rose Beauty Mist. Um, oh, I'm gonna spray it now. Mm. Oh yeah. My skin loves when I use it. Um, oh. <laughs> it's quite a strong smell. Great for her, uh, dehydrated skin again. Um, and oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> I like to use this after I've done my cleansing and before I do my serums. This I love, Le Roche Posay Serum Zinc. This is a French skincare brand company, but they sell it in boots. It helps to minimise like the small, the small bum piece uh, kind of breakouts and spots that you can get. It doesn't really have an offensive smell. Um, I love the diffuser actually because it's very fine. This I wanted to include, it's the Body Shop Vitamin E Face Mist and this has just been something that I've used for years and years um, and it's just something that I love taking on holiday with me as well if I know I'm going to be in a really stuffy hot kind of place. It's kind of a vitamin enriched uh, Max Fix Plus which I also like but this is cheaper. And also again for dehydrated skin it's good to add to sandwich in that moisture between the your cleansing and your toners and your moisturizers because your skin can drink up hydration when it's in these spray forms really quickly and easily. Okay. These are some serums that I love. So these aren't like the like, simple Nivea and everything kind of bracket but these you can find in Boots and these two are from Vichy and this one oh my god I forgot Indeed Lab Laboratories Laboratories <laughs> <laughs> Laboratories. Vichy is a brilliant skincare brand. I, I love so many of their products. I love mixing up my skincare all the time, but the, the Vichy I always go back to. Okay, the first one I'll talk about is the Vichy Normaderm Night Detox. So I use this when I feel like my skin's looking really dull or if I've had a really long day and I feel my skin feels really tired and haggard. <laughs> Slightly more of a creamy consistency, but um, it just sinks in really, really quickly, nourishes my skin. Days after traveling around London, or kind of traveling in general, um, my skin loves this. I absolutely love this. It's the Vichy um, Aquilina Thermal Serum, and oh my god, <laughs> I love this. I feel like even if you don't have majorly dehydrated skin, your skin will like this. It's so thirst quenching, it sinks in so quickly. It's really lightweight. Um, I also love the packaging, I just think it's really pretty. I feel like I have a little potion bottle, like a witch's potion bottle on my dressing table. Face oil. Some people might get on with this, some might may not, but I got on with this quite well when I use, I've used this for years, especially when I was at uni and I didn't have the budget for really expensive facial oils, just bio oil. They come in different sizes and everyone, what was that? They come in different sizes and everything, but, so you can use it obviously on your body for scarring, it's also great on your face for scarring, but it's also good for hydrating your skin, um, and even if you've got slightly oilier skin, if you use this um, at night and then wake up, it doesn't break you out or anything, or it shouldn't, but it just, 
What is all that noise? For me, it really softens my skin, um, gives it a bit of hydration as well. I wouldn't use too much of this at once because you'll feel really oily at first. A little bit goes a long way. So. Spot treatments, I love Sudocrem. Um, so Sudocrem is used usually for nappy rashes. <laughs> Mums usually use it on their babies, bums <laughs> and stuff, but it says like nappy rash, eczema, surface wound, sunburn. It, it's like a magic product basically. It's a great healing product. If I'm having a major breakout, I'll actually put it all over my, pretty much all over my face and leave it on as a mini mask. And this is so cheap by the way, it's literally like a few pounds, like two or three pounds. Sometimes I'll just use it directly onto a breakout and then leave it there overnight. It's a really thick cream, so it's not too drying at the same time. Like, lastly, I've got some moisturizers. This is a bit of a hybrid product, but I really wanted to um, include this. It's brilliant if you suffer from breakouts as well. Like this, I feel like this video would be good for teenage skin. <laughs> it's the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion. It's a lightweight hydration with shine control for clearer looking skin. I feel like this is a hybrid between a, a serum and a moisturizer. And it's a really light, Oh my god, so, so much just come out. Oh my god, I love the smell of tea tree. Oh, it's so calming, I don't know why. But anyway, you could use this as a night treatment as well or all over your face if you didn't want to use it as a moisturiser. It just calms redness down, calms uh, breakouts down, and it smells really nice. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was really loud. I've got two moisturizers that I'd really, really would recommend. The first is the Nivea, oh, I love Nivea for skincare, firstly. There's so many Nivea products that I've used over the years and that they've been really gentle on my skin. Daily Essentials Light Moisturizing Day Cream. It also has SPF 15, which is great. Like, it's great to have SPF in your moisturizer your and your foundation, or one or the other. This is super lightweight. I feel like I've spoken about it before, but just great if you do have oily your skin. It sinks in quickly and I feel like I can do my makeup pretty much straight away after I don't have to wait around so if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of time in the morning as well this is brilliant. So if you like something a little bit more mattifying but not really drying for your skin um, I used to use this all the time. It's the Effeclar Matte. It almost feels like a serum when you apply it like a serum moisturizer. Brilliant for uh, applying makeup on on top of as well. It creates a really nice base. It almost feels like a primer. So great if you have oilier skin and you like using luminizing um, foundations but you don't want to also put like a heavy cream and then uh, you know a sparkly pigment on top of your face so it can balance out. Lastly I've got a product that I've just recently discovered and it's by First Aid Beauty. So you can get this online but apparently you can get it in boots as well. It's that middle bracket again I think but this is the ultra repair cream. Intense repair, antioxidant booster. You can actually use this on your body or on your face but I've been using it on my face so it's this big pretty hefty tub. It's quite a thick cream but it's not thick in the way that that it um, stays on your on top of your skin you know when you apply it it does um, sink into your skin it's not as lightweight as all the other things that I've spoken about but I think that this would work for a lot of different skin types I always use this at night I don't usually use it in the morning because of the thickness I feel like my skin loves it my skin drinks it up no parabens no harsh chemicals colorant safe for sensitive skin they're a brilliant brilliant brand so I hope you guys liked this video and if you want me to do more like drugstore types of videos like this of different types of products um, because I just felt like chatting today about products. Sometimes I just do. <laughs> As always, let me know what you want to see on my channel. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to stay updated. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'll link everything down below. I always say Twitter. <laughs> like a uh, hoodlum. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, also let me know what your favorite drugstore uh, skincare item is because I love to try new things. Bye. The uh, the uh, <sighs> said it was light. Ah, I've got eyelash extensions, but they're slowly falling out now, so it's looking a bit like spider's legs. <laughs>